Hey guys, Jonathan Feist here again from Drone Rush. We're at Interdrone 2018. Our next stop is Epson Movario. You already knew about the BT300 AR smart glasses. They've got some upgrades to them. And as well, they now have the BT35Es. Hi everyone, Mike Leva with the Epson Movario team. Wanted to show you a few things that are new here at Interdrone 2018. So many of you are familiar perhaps with our BT300. We've covered it a little bit on Drone Rush in the past, uh, in the past year, but today we're excited to show off our newest application. In the past, everything we did on the Movario BT300 was DJI's Go4 or Go applications. So it was running apps that were built on Android, but built for a mobile phone. The new app is all about being optimized for smart glasses. So what that means is that we do a couple big things. One is we've rethought the UI. So instead of having to touch the Movario trackpad, which is typically where you would do navigation, you can use C1 and C2 on the back of your DJI flight remote. When I press them, a menu appears in front of me, and then I navigate with C1 to switch from menu item to menu item and press C2 to select. Additionally, we had a lot of people say, what about visual line of sight? We want to keep it transparent. So we have a new mode, that's our heads up display mode. The whole middle of the screen is transparent and then you simply overlay the most important information, telemetry, battery, things like that on the top, along with the thumbnail of your live view from the drone in the bottom right. But this mode you're in, you'll notice is mainly black. It has a few warnings, but typically black, when you're looking through the Movario glasses, is fully see-through, it's fully transparent. And what that enables is that the pilot can see right through any of that black area for visual line of sight. Then finally, everyone asks for it. I don't know how many people will use it, but we do have things like a head tracking mode where using your head movements, you can control the gimbal of your aircraft. So a lot of new features in this app including some that are not yet out but will be out on our next build in a couple weeks. Build 1.1 will have things like an augmented reality flight arrow that'll point wherever you're looking, the, the arrow will point to where your drone is in the sky. Since we all know, depending on how far away you're flying or lighting conditions, you might think it's over here, but it's actually a little bit away from you. We're also working on a cool thing where you can visualize your flight lines so using the glasses as well, it'll put augmented reality flight lines above you and help you kind of pre or post flight visualization mode, understand where you're gonna fly. So a lot of new software that we're adding capability to the existing hardware, and hopefully you can take it for a ride with us and let us know some feedback on how we can improve it. So we, uh, the BT300, best selling unit, that's the one we've been offering now for a little over a year. Sold just about everywhere and it's 699. In fact, we'll have it on DJI.com soon. We sell it in a lot of the DJI retail stores. Uh, and we also offer often many accessories to go with it to ensure you have a safe and productive flight, including little things like sunglass filters to make it, A, look a little more aesthetically pleasing, but also give you that contrast you need on a bright sunny day. We wanted to show you one other big announcement that we have here at Interdrone 2018, and that's a new hardware product from the Epson line. So this product is called the Movario BT35E. And there's a couple really key things about it that differentiate it versus our other product, the BT300. The 35E was built for one main thing, and that is extended compatibility. So that instead of only working with all the different DJI models that we have, which are fantastic, we also have the ability to plug into other HDMI sources. For example, other aircraft, or even any other HDMI source device laptops, uh, in some cases tablets, video game systems, medical devices, you name it. It can plug into anything over HDMI. So for those who are familiar with our other product line, this will look different. Our other one is a fully fledged Android device. This is an interface unit that has a port for us to plug in our glasses, then HDMI, USB Type-C if you want to plug into a new Android phone, and micro USB for power. This does not have a battery, so you do power it while you're using it. The other really big changes, though, with this product are all around the ergonomics and the design of the headset itself. So with the 35E, you have a new hinge design system. This is meant to accommodate a wider variety of head sizes. 
This is our more commercial model. It has two times the magnesium coating to give it an IPX2 rating. So it's a little more durable, can withstand a little bit of like splashes or very, very light rain. Still don't recommend using it when it's uh, pouring or anything outside, but a little more durable. Another big thing is it comes with ANSI shades. Uh, ANSI is American National Standard Institute. Essentially, anytime you have these areas where people need to have safety glasses and it's a workplace requirement, this now comes out of the box, safety glass certified. Flips up and down. This is obviously for indoor use. And since most of the time you're piloting a drone, you're outside, we should show the same thing, but with a nice dark shade. All this is for is for debris, things that might kick up and hit. And again, it meets that safety glass requirement. So the big thing again with this product is that with the HDMI capability, in this case, I'm demoing it with Crystal Sky. What the glasses then see is everything you're seeing on Crystal Sky is mirrored into the headset. And why that's important is again, a pilot can maintain the settings and controls down here on Crystal Sky. And then when they're ready to have their flight, they put on their glasses and get real-time FPV. So really nice in the sense that it extends the compatibility. You see Jonathan controlling it now with the uh, second remote that is in camera operator mode. So he can control it. He can also have glasses on. You can have two people using it simultaneously, which is nice depending on the type of mission or flight you're doing. Crystal Sky has an HDMI out port. But again, now we're open to any drone that has HDMI out on the back. Or sometimes even other video if you're willing to convert it with a, with a converter. So the idea is now any different aircraft you have, we can now just plug in to the controller, give you that live FPV mode via HDMI, very low latency since it's plugged in directly and hopefully it makes it so that this product can now work with a wide variety of commercial uh, aircraft. Uh, this product's coming out soon, so it'll be out in about two weeks towards the end of September. Uh, we're retailing it for $8.99. It is our commercial, uh, air, or excuse me, our commercial headset, so it costs a bit more to manufacture, hence the difference in price versus our BT300 model. But available soon, we'll be selling it mainly via our commercial integration partners, people like Flymotion, Gresco, Magic Sky, and BNH will all be offering the product along with, of course, on our Epson website. So any questions about the product, I recommend checking out our site or visiting YouTube where we have a lot of new videos about the product. Now those are pretty cool. We're looking forward to actually flying with them. As always, we appreciate the thumbs up if you like what you see here. And stay tuned and hit that bell icon when you subscribe if you want to see more from Interdrone 2018. Thanks again, all. Fly safe.